Hi, this is Thesia, Havela's Family Farms. Okay, I've put it off for as long as I can. It was either windy or I didn't have anybody home or something was going on. And every night I would look at that porch and I would say, I really need to get the flashing done. And so, well, what has changed I mean, the wind is down today. That's a good thing, too. But the, the biggest thing is Kinsey's home. And I'm glad and I'm sorry. You know, she's been at school, and apparently they've had a couple of people come down with the COVID virus. And one of them was a football player. So they, I think as of yesterday, they had like 50 kids in quarantine. I don't know how many kids were in the school, but it's not a whole lot more than that. Well, I mean, there are, but I, don't, I bet there's no more than 300 in the whole school. So I don't know. One way or another... But so many kids in quarantine, I think two or three teachers, well, okay, what started it is somebody in a family came down with it, and the whole, in, in that family was two kids and a teacher <laughs> who was their mom, you know, and so it kind of went from there. I don't know. I'm sorry. I really am, but she's home. And I just roused her out of bed, even though it's like 9.30 in the morning. And I have to admit, I've also been holding off for that, too. Not only to, get, to give her time to rest or whatever, you know, sleep in. But uh, it was pretty humid this morning, too. And, yeah, I don't want to slip off of the porch, either, or the, the roof. But, and I, okay, my, my biggest deal is, once I get up on the roof, not that, not that big a deal. It's the transition on the ladder, from going from the ladder to the... To the roof and certainly back so <clears throat> but one way or another getting it done today well <laughs> I'm up here and the roof is holding me so far and Kenzie held the ladder for me so that I when I made the transition and uh, she'll hold the ladder for me when I go back down because I think I have all the tools I need please I, I pray to God I have all the tools I need to finish my job up here so let's see what we got my first thought is I should have taken this back down because it looks like I did the wind kind of curled it up a little bit but how oh well I can fix that and I've got the the caulking is what I'm going to do to glue it down and then I'm going to and then there's a, a tub of stuff that I'll put around it and I'll show you as I go I hope but first of all I think what I'm going to do because there is a little crimp on the end of the uh thing there I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide the whole thing down to the end there and slit it let it uh, rest on the edge well that's not going to help either maybe not hmm all right let me see what I can figure out all right I ran a bead underneath it it looks like it's not I, mean, I don't know what I need to do there this may mean I need to make another trip up here I'll put some weight on this to see if that'll help. I was hoping that putting it underneath it and then putting it around the edge would help, but I've got to do something to make it where it stays down and sticks. Hmm. All right. Let's try it. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to help or not. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do the stuff that's brushed on and uh, see how it goes. And, <laughs> yeah. I got some on the thing, but I got a lot on me. I got on the rock, on the roof. Oh well, it either washes off or wears off. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get. An issue I ran into, and I don't know if you can see it on that end. I've put a lot of stuff on it, but it's still popping up anyway. I'm hoping it holds enough to, I don't know what to do. But every time I did something down here, oops, let me fix this. Every time I walk, uh, crawled across here, the, the roof flexes enough, and it was causing gaps. And then I think that's the only place I don't have the gap fixed. And that's, we'll see. It's done. 
and yes some got on the roof and not all of it got on me well I survived I got down <laughs> and I got that stuff all over me the both the black stuff and the white stuff and I got it all over the camera but the, it seems to have come off the camera pretty good I hope it comes off my phone case I had to call Kenzie to come hold the ladder so I could get down and I'm relieved that's done I had postponed it as long as I possibly could I guess well I mean I could have ignored it completely but I didn't want to do that so now I got now I can prepare for the next chore now that I have that covered I mean you can see daylight over there I don't need it over there so much because uh, that's not where the door is I've got it over the door and more in this direction and maybe one of these days I'll climb back up there and make it where it goes all the way across so right now I have it where it's over the door so now I can paint this door frame and get that protected and uh, I think I'll be done with that that would be cool so oh I think I got a bee buzz in my ear <laughs> uh, now I gotta clean up. I gotta uh, I gotta do some errands and, and get some stuff done. But I'm relieved. And, and another one of my issues is is you know if you're gonna climb on top of a a roof and do the work, you want to do a good job. And I can see where that one point is. I didn't make it how much put crap I put on it. It wasn't sticking. So I'm I'm lamenting that a little bit because I want I want to do a good job. I've got a lot to learn. Oh my gosh, you should have seen me trying to wrestle with the with the with the caulking gun. You know, not that hard, but I could I handle it? No, this is all the way above my pay grade. But I did it.